My name is Ramon Tisaire. My company is Sayus. And what we do is provide virtual reality solutions for people with mental disorders. Imagine that you have fear of heights. You go into the therapist's office and the therapist assesses what your problem is and designs an immersive experience that makes most sense for you. He or she has a control panel where they modulate and monitor what you are seeing. It's a safe environment, but it's not a true environment. And therefore, it's an easy way of confronting your fears. I'm Ramon Tisaire, president of Sayus, representing my company from uh, Barcelona, Spain. 18% of us suffer from some kind of fear or anxiety-related disorder. But unfortunately, 87% don't even receive minimally adequate treatment. Virtual reality exposure therapy has been used for some time now to increase patient engagement as an effort to uh, address that untapped market and improve the overall effectiveness of treatment. A case in point is the military, has been using PTSD for quite some time now. However, its complexity, expense, and lack of access have limited implementation until now. And this is particularly interesting in a market that's growing exponentially and that is supposed to reach $5 billion by 2025. What is it that we have done at Sayus? In fact, we have not discovered anything new, but rather we have put a whole platform together that makes the, uh, the whole mechanism of administering virtual reality therapy very intuitive and very easily. And we have done that by providing a platform that consists of four different elements. On the one hand, you have a web interface from which the uh, therapist modulates and controls the patient's in, uh, immersive experience. The patient simply uses goggles and, um, and a phone. And also, we have an integrated biofeedback sensor that uh, what it does is uh, objectively measures what is really going on. At this point in time, from a physiological perspective, but eventually, we're going to have some other parameters that can be uh, measured as well. So we're going to have empirical data about what's really going on while the patient addresses that fear from a safe environment. And we can do that on site and remotely. And the last element is that uh, to, uh, uh, as part of this integrated end-to-end uh, -end platform, we have built the largest catalog of environments in the mental health marketplace. And these uh, environments can be applied to a large number of use cases. As you will see later, we have 77, but this is a number that uh, is growing. At this point in time, you can see a certain grouping that we have done, just to give you an idea of what's possible, around anxiety disorders, pain and stress management, and mindfulness and well-being. And in each category, we have a set of environments that uh, the therapist has to use to provide the best treatment. And we do that in the context of very uh, strong clinical trials to validate the solution. And the preliminary results are encouraging. We do that in the United States and outside of the United States. We have deployed the solution uh, primarily in Spain and now in the rest of the world and have begun monetization across private practitioners, psychologists or uh, psychiatrists, public and private hospitals, and enterprise. Treated more than 4,000 patients and currently with an MRR that oscillates between 25 and 35, and by the end of the year, we, reached, we, we pretend to be at 100,000. Developing a very strong ecosystem to scale the solution, primarily through distributors, insurance companies, and healthcare providers. And actually, our uh, uh, customers are happy, which, which is encouraging. Great global team out of Barcelona and London as well to get this going. 
And obviously, very important to have the help of our investors. Three million so far, the first investor was Rothenberg Ventures, and now we're looking for another million approximately to get to the 100,000 by year end. Sayus is helping to change the world, and the market clearly acknowledges it. A month ago, we were portrayed as the number one virtual reality company in the healthcare space in the world. This is all very nice, but we need you, and especially we need uh, the US ecosystem to get to the next frontier. Ramon Tisaire, Healing Minds with Virtual Reality. Thank you.